And now, here is the star of our show, Andy Williams. I see a flash that floods the sky. Fireworks! You send up a flare that ignites the night air. The cannons boom, skyrocket zoom, and missiles fly. Fireworks! Fireworks! I see a million sparklers sparking. I hear firecrackers barking, crackling in the stratosphere. Fireworks! I see the Roman candles flaming, shooting stars proclaiming that my love is here. I do like the sky on the 4th of July, a crazy flag up on a jack cause you came by. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Julie Andrews. Julie, Julie, they love you. We all do. We here in the colonies recognize royalty when we see it. Oh, you're very kind, Andy. Actually, I don't have a drop of regal blood in my veins. No? No, truth is, I don't even have a princess phone. Oh. <laughs> well, royalty or no royalty, when I look at you, it's nice to think that there'll always be an England. Ah, uh, well, there'll always be an England, all right. We British are a very hardy race. Oh, you must be. Any country that can produce uh, Julie Andrews and the Beatles in the same generation uh, is bound to be around for a long time. Oh, I love the Beatles. Don't you think they're Oh, uh, they, they really are. They're something else. And they, uh, they certainly were a, uh, a smash in this... No, I like them. I do. And they were such a smash in this country. I you know. know. Half of the Kingston Trio fans defected. That's how much of a smash they And I saw your latest flick as uh, you English say. Your picture? Your picture. Yes. And I must say that I think it's one of the best comedies I've ever seen. Oh, thank you. Well, if you liked it that well, just tell all your friends, will you? Oh, I'm going to. Right here on this marquee. What? I'm going to climb up a ladder, and I'm going to tell the whole world to see Julie Andrews starring in The Americanization of Emily. What a good idea. Isn't it? But, Andy, it'll take forever with all those words. Well, not if you help me. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on.
Well, so much for the Americanization of Emily. Now let's see if we can uh, Americanize Julie. Well, how'd you propose doing that? Well, why don't we start by singing an American song? That sounds a bit daring. Well, don't be shy. Just fling yourself into it. You mean just fling myself into it? Just give it a go. Oh. Let me tell you about a boy I know. He's my baby and I love him so. Every morning before the sun comes up, he brings me coffee in my favorite cup. That's why I know. Yes, I know. Hallelujah, I just love you so. When I'm in trouble and I have no friend, and have no friend, that's when I know that you'll be with me to the end. Right to the end. Everybody asks me how I know. How do you know? I smile at them and say she told me so. That's why I know. Yes, I know. Hallelujah, I just love you so. Now if I call him on the telephone. To tell me that she's all alone By the time I count from one to four I find he's knocking on my door In, In the, the evening when the sun goes down, down When there ain't nobody else around That's when he kisses me and holds me tight And I said, baby, everything's all right That's why I know why I know, yes, yes I, I know Hallelujah So, oh, yeah, that's how I know. That's how I know. That's how I know. That's how I know. Now, if I call you on the telephone, if you should call me on the telephone, to tell you that I'm all alone, what? And I'm feeling sad and lonely. Just by the time you come to phone. Osmond Brothers, I think. How do you do? Miss Andrews. Miss Andrews? <laughs> Is there something wrong, Andy? <laughs> no, everything's simply grom. <laughs> On behalf of my brothers and myself, I would like to present this floral offering as a tiny gesture of our profound love, respect, and admiration. <laughs> Well, thank you. They're, they're lovely. <laughs> Little 
League Richard Burton's. I think we'd better get these in some water, don't you? All right, I'll put them in a bowl. That's a good fellow, Andrew. That kid needs a kick in the pants. <laughs> Thank you very much for the roses and for your charming little speech. It merely expressed our heartfelt sentiments. Indubitably. Unquestionably. Incontrovertibly. Well, good words. Now listen, if you chaps would like to add a most remarkable word to your vocabulary, I have just the one. Pray tell, what is it? It's supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I'm the little, little, I'm the lie. I'm the little, little, I'm the lie. Because I was afraid to speak when I was just so high. My father gave me nose a tweak, which always made me cry. But then one day I learned a word which saved me aching nose. The biggest word you ever heard, and this is how it goes. Oh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I'm the little, little, I'm the lie. I'm the little, little, I'm the lie. If you should travel around the world, why, everywhere you go. Use this word and always say there goes a clever joke. When Dukes and Maharajas pass the time of day with me, I say me special word and then they ask me out to tea. Ooh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious, if you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Yeah, I'm the little, little, I'm the lie. I'm the little, little, I'm the lie. Hey, boys, you know, you can say it backwards, which is docious ali expiistic fragicali rupus. But we won't bother about that tonight, will we? No. <laughs> so when the cat has got your tongue, there's no need for dismay. Just summon up this word and then you've got a lot to say. But better use it carefully or it can change your life. For if you say it to your girl, she may become your wife. Oh! Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. 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 Good idea. Uh, yeah, but... Well, <laughs> Andy, you know, preparing tea is an art of which we English are immensely proud. Oh, I know. Now, first of all, the pot itself must be preheated to the correct temperature. Mm. Then you place one teaspoon of tea leaves into the pot for each cup to be poured, plus a teaspoon for the pot, of course. Then we add the hot water. This is also very important. One should always add water to the tea, never tea to the water. Yes, well, Actually, there's a little song we sing about that. It goes, um, I diddly, I die, I diddly dee, never tea to the water, always water to the tea, never tea to the water, always water to the tea. So, then you let the tea leaves steep in the boiling water, precisely 
five minutes, no more and no less, and then, and only then, will the tea leaves release their true aroma and bouquet. Got it? Yes, but this is instant coffee. <laughs> you mean you, you don't have tea? Well... No, of course you don't have tea, you stupid niche. You threw it all into Boston Harbor. <laughs> Obviously, my whole thing on tea was a complete waste of time. Oh, no, it wasn't. I'm going to record that song. Hmm? Never tea to the water, always water to the tea. Never tea to the water, always water to the tea. <laughs> Nearly right. I can never remember. <laughs> Listen, Andy, earlier in the show, you Americanized me by having me sing an American song. Yes. Now, maybe I could anglicize you. You're hopeless with tea, but at least you sing, so why don't we start there? What a good idea. Oh, come on. Got a lovely bunch of coconuts. There they are, standing in a row. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. Give them a flick, a flick of the wrist, that's what the showman said. Oh, I got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Every ball you throw will make me rich. There stands me wife, the idol of me life. Sing and roll a ball, a ball, a penny a pitch. Sing and roll a ball, a ball, a penny a pitch. Sing and roll a ball. Put your daughter on the stage, Mrs. Worthington, don't put your daughter on the stage. She's a bit of an ugly duckling, you must honestly confess. And the width of a seat would surely defeat her chances of success. It's, it's a loud voice, and though it's not exactly flat, you'll need, need a little, little more than that to earn a living wage. wage. On my knees, Mrs. Worthington. Oh, please, Mrs. Worthington. I don't, don't put, put your daughter on the stage, stage. but try the movies. I don't, don't put, put your daughter, daughter on the stage. stage. What about an Irishman? All right, I'm ready. Ready? <laughs> uh, Mistress Murphy gave a party just about a week ago. Everything was plentiful. The Murphys, they're not slow. They treated us like gentlemen. We tried to act the same. Only for what happened, well, it was an awful shame. It was an awful shame. <laughs> when Mistress Murphy dished the chowder out, she fainted on the spot. She found a pair of overalls at the bottom of the park. Tim Nolan, he got really mad. His eyes were bulging out. He, he jumped, jumped up on the piano, piano and loudly did he shout. Did he shout? Come. Not there. No, not there. <laughs> Who threw the overalls in Mistress Murphy's child? Nobody spoke, so he shouted all the louder. It's an Irish trick, that's true. I can lick to lick that through. The overalls in Mistress Murphy's child. My turn. Okay. Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. The Japanese don't care to. The Chinese wouldn't dare to. A Hindus and Argentines sleep firmly from 12 to 1. But Englishmen detest a siesta. In the Philippines, they have lovely screens to protect you from the glare. In the Malay states, there are hats like plates which the Britishers won't wear. At 12 noon, the natives swoon and know for the work is done. done. But mad, mad dogs, dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday, out in the midday, out in the midday, out in the midday. They're fun, but they, uh, they aren't very romantic. You know? no. Well, I mean, I can't see a young man from Sussex sitting alone in the moonlight with his arm around his girl, singing Who Threw the Overalls in Mistress Murphy's Channel. <laughs> <Chandler." laughs> no. no, it wouldn't, but we do have songs for every occasion. Now, if it's a romantic ballad you want, there's a lovely song from the in English musical, Oliver. Well... Does it fall from skies above? Is it underneath the willow tree that I've been dreaming of? Where is he who I close my eyes to see Will I ever know the sweet hello that's meant for only me Who can say where he may hide 
must I travel far and wide Till I am beside the someone who I can mean something to Awfully pretty songs in the past few years, you know, like uh, "What Kind of Fool Am I?" Ah, yes. And as long as he needs me, and oh, who could ever forget this really gorgeous ballad? I'll buy you a diamond ring, my friend, if it makes you feel all right. Yeah, yeah. I'll get you anything, my friend, if it makes you feel all right. It's all right. For I don't care too much for money, for money can't buy me love. No. I'll give you all I've got to give if you say you love me too. But well, when I may not have a lot to give, but what I got, I'll give to you. I don't care too much for money, for money can't buy me love. Can't buy me love. Love can't buy me love. Me we 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 we. Say you don't need no diamond ring, and I'll be satisfied. Tell me that you want those kind of things that money cannot buy. being on your show tonight. Well, I loved having you on the I show. I haven't had as much fun for ages. I know what I feel when you're near. I know it each time you appear. I know that this kind of rapport could never have happened. speak, no need to sing, when just a glance means everything, not a word need be spoken, in our language of love, I'll touch your cheek, I'll hold your hand, and only we will understand that the silence is by our language of love It's clear to you It's clear to me This precious moment Had to be other moments of passing Guardian angels are passing No words will do No words will do No lips can Murmuring sound of 
Um... 